AA, see you in church. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a little message. Put a notation on something you think I should talk about. And put the hand up. I always do that at the beginning because I have the tendency to forget to do that. So I do it at the beginning. But um, that's up to you. I don't like to go back and most likely I won't. As you can see, I'm wearing my rainbow run hat. Run on. Rudolph hat. Um, and I'm here to talk about run, run. No, I'm not. Um, I wanted to talk about the ads I've been noticing. Um, right now, they're in love with, my, I think his name is Mark Jacobs. They have his cologne out. And that is one of the <laughs> most lesbian commercial I've ever seen. I've noticed that either they're, they're hitting hard one way or they're hitting hard the other. The other day, um, I was watching that Marc Jacob commercial and I was like, that looks so lesbian. These three women all over each other and the perfume, I guess, is called Daisy. They have a black woman and two white. Um, not one looks Hispanic or Italian or whatever. It just looks white. Two white women. and Or an Oriental. They could have done that. Put an Oriental woman or person from India, something, someone of other than just a black person of color could have put three different kind of women, but whatever, um, they're paying for it, not me. And they're not paying me to make suggestions on how to better their commercials. So <coughs> let's move on. I was seeing that commercial and I just sort of like, Mm, no. I've noticed a lot of commercials out today. Um, they put out and I wouldn't buy the stuff if you paid me. Actually, some of them, I was going to purchase that product. Friends were going to purchase that product. We saw a commercial and, and after seeing that commercial, we weren't going to purchase the product. <laughs> we didn't purchase the product anymore. Maybe it's me, but the commercials they put out there are annoying that one's not annoying with the three young ladies it's just to me it looks like three lesbians then um they did that gay commercial and there's a i guess two transgender a lesbian and the rest are gay they didn't put a straight person why are they not putting a straight person is because they don't think straight people can get aids Yes, they're the ones that are getting it now. There's a higher rate of straight people getting AIDS now than there was before. But whatever. They don't care. Well, why should I? Then um, I was watching, I think it was Hulu. And they put commercials on there. It's just so annoying. And then all of a sudden, here comes that a new version of that gay commercial about AIDS and they put another lesbian woman but she's standing there by herself this time they put a uh, a horrible looking transgender I don't think it's a transgender I think it's a bad drag queen because uh, the transgender and gay they tend to use better makeup that I know of, or at least they do in Arizona. I don't know. And they're trying to make themselves look better. I don't know. Like a, uh, a friend of mine I was talking to and everything, we, we had knew these beautiful um, drag queens. And I asked him if he was transgender. He goes, oh no, I just, respect the beautiful women when I was younger my mom 
did her makeup and she looked beautiful and I watched her and now he's a drag queen and a beautiful one to boot. And anyway, we were talking about that and he says, my question is, and I said, okay, he goes, why would you want to be an ugly woman? And I started laughing. I said, what do you mean? He, and, and he said, okay, he's, and I, I've always had this one question. Okay. You put your base, which takes all your face away, and then you add to make your cheekbones look better and all that kind of stuff and your eyeshadow and everything. Well, he said the same thing. A person who does makeup, they put the base and they do the makeup up. And we were at a, cl uh, a, a quiet club and there were these people that just put on their face and we were laughing. And that was one of his questions. He says, if you're not going to bother to make it look better, why are you bothering? And I go, I don't know. I said, that was always my question. I saw so many beautiful drag queens. And then you see these other people. And, and it's on women too. That just go blip. And that's it. They don't put the cheek coloring or anything. And we talked and, and all that. And we had a good time. Um, I've known so many. I've known um, Miss so many Miss Arizonas and all that. And to me, it's just so strange when a person who's plain and is a man goes and makes himself look so beautiful. I say, well, why aren't women doing that? And then I remember my brother's wife would go and she would look different she would have i guess you would call them pimple marks and she would take it all off with her makeup she put on her makeup and she looked beautiful and everything and i was like that's i've always saw that with all the women around in my neighborhood they didn't just go blah they knew how to work their makeup. And then when I grew up and started hanging out with my friends, that's when I got to meet drag queens. And I see the same thing. They make themselves beautiful. And then you go out into the real world and you see people, drag people. Well, I can't call them drag queens. But women... And those others, I'm going to call them. And they don't attempt to make themselves look better. It's just they go get the foundation, put the foundation on their face, and that's it. Put some lipstick. <laughs> and I'm just like, that don't make sense. But who am I to go tell them they're doing it wrong? You know, I don't do drag. Um, I know how to do theatrical makeup. That's for like a play or whatever. I learned that. But I'm not going to go tell people, you know. I'm not, I don't have, I'm not the kind of person that goes and hurts people's feelings. Never really was. And then I saw today, uh, a show on YouTube and she was talking about how things have changed and everything. And I was looking, I was saying, yeah, I remember you wouldn't see a drag queen. You wouldn't see anything. You wouldn't see any of those on regular TV. And now they're allowing it, which is good. But on commercials, they're using them as sort of insults. They're trying to put people in their place. 
And I have no idea why. Maybe you do. And they're not even attempting to do a good versions of it. And that's what surprises me. I'm like, uh, no. And let's just put it this way. I don't know what it is. This chrysalis or salis or what do you call it? To me, it just sounds like a whole lot of snake oil. Use a condom. <laughs> Yeah, all my friends tease me about that because I always tell them that. Use a condom, use the condom. I used to have a bowl of condoms right near my door. And they said, oh, that's sort of tacky, Manuel. I said, no. And my free male friends didn't really get it. They were straight. And before they left, I would take a few condoms and I put it in their purse. And they go, but Manuel, I'm a girl. I said, yes, you're a girl and you're not a lesbian. So that means you're going to have sex with a man if you have sex. And it's better to have him in your purse. And if he doesn't happen to remember to bring them, you can say, here, put this on. And then after he says, well, I don't want, then you say, well, then I guess we're not going to be having sex. Wear it. And I told him that. And let's put it this way. All the young ladies that I've had as friends, they don't have AIDS. They don't have syphilis. They don't have gonorrhea. And thankfully, they don't have herpes. And these are just things that you have to think about. But reality is, you got to take care of yourself. And this, whatever, it tells you, it's giving you all this pretense. But to be honest, guess what? If you, even if you're heterosexual, you take those pills, you still will get a woman pregnant. It's not sterilizing you. It's supposed to be protecting you from AIDS. But they want you to go into the doctor and get tested every month. I'm sorry, I don't want to visit the doctor every month. I don't visit the, the doctor every year. I found that I don't get sick as long as I don't take the flu pill. But that's me. And I don't go to the doctor because I don't respect the doctors. After my mother died the way she did, no doctor here for me anymore. It wasn't before that either. I'll go see a dentist, but when it comes to a doctor, no. But what do you think? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a message, tell me something you think I should talk about, and put the hand up. And I do it at the beginning because I have the tendency to forget. And I usually won't come back to do that. But remember, AA, see you in church.